Y'all, we are live and in action for the 2022 National Virtual Graduation. We are celebrating Nurse Family Partnership graduates from all across the 40 states who have graduated Nurse Family Partnership. So real quick, before we dive in, I want to make sure that those who want to enjoy the graduation in the language of their choice, that you all are set and ready to go. So if you want to enjoy in Spanish, we do have an audio line available for you. So what you have to do is disconnect your audio from the Zoom app, but keep the Zoom app up and you will separately dial 774-267-4484, okay? So you should see that up on the screen and you should be able to hear our translator Robinson. This is his third year translating for us. So thank you so much, Robinson, for being here with us today. Also, we have American Sign Language available for those who ASL is your first language. You should see Kelly Miller, y'all. Let's give her a hand five. Let's say thank you, Kelly, for being here to translate for us through ASL. So um, for those who are enjoying through ASL, I encourage you to get on a computer or a tablet so that you can see both speaker and Kelly at the same time. Okay, so you are probably wondering who in the world is this woman talking, right? Well, my name is Ashley Watson and I will be your lovely host today. I am the volunteer engagement manager for the National Service Office and drum roll, I'm also an NFP graduate from Texas. My daughter, Italy, is now 10 years old, and when I tell you time flies by, it does, believe me. I am so happy to be here with you all today to celebrate your NFP journey with you. And it's pretty cool to see how I've come this far in my journey and to begin to witness other families continuing to join Nurse Family Partnership and graduate. And I hope that you all are excited as well. So we'll talk a little bit more about how you can continue your journey with Nurse Family Partnership here in a little bit, but I'm so happy to be here with you all today. But I am not alone. I am excited to share this platform with my colleague, Sylvia Lopez, who's working alongside me in this work for Nurse Family Partnership. She has worked for the National Service Office for five years, and I'm, she is extremely passionate about moms and babies. And I'm so thankful to have expanded our team this year. So she is the one running our slides and our video. So big shout out to Sylvia. And she actually will be giving out some giveaways here in a little bit. All right, so just a couple of housekeeping things. I want to make sure that you all know what's going on with the platform that we have. So we are recording today's event, okay? And we will share this recording with all registrants after. Um, give us a few days and we'll get it sent out via email. Also, given the size of the audience, I know some of you were asking, am I on video? Can y'all see us? No, unfortunately, we cannot see you, um, but because it's in camera mode. So our cameras are off and the microphones are muted, but we do have the chat function. Woo woo, we've upgraded this year. The past two years, you all couldn't even interact with each other. So we upgraded, used Zoom, and now we have this chat feature and we will love for you all to engage with us throughout the whole event. Um, some of you may be enjoying this event on your phone, so what you'll need to do is turn it sideways. You may notice we do have an English version and a Spanish version of PowerPoint slides. So if you turn it sideways, you are able to zoom in and see the slides that you want um, shown. Okay, so like I said, here's your chance to get involved in the graduation. So feel free to use that chat button. I'm sure that you all are already going to town in the chat and you all um, just be sure if you want everyone to read your message, you can click on the down arrow where it says two and click on everyone. I see some of you all are just sending messages to the host and panelists. And so if you change that two, to um, from host and panelists, change it to everyone. Then we can all see um, we can all we can all see see everyone's messages coming in. 
So if you all have any questions or comments throughout the event, I'm the hostess, so I'm not going to be able to answer all your questions. But we do have some, I do have some colleagues who will help assist us in answering these questions. So if you need to chat with them, please feel free to use the chat. You can look through all of the panelists. We have Nkenge, Camille, and Alondra, who are parent ambassadors. A parent ambassadors are um, NFP graduates who have committed to a two-year leadership and advocacy training program. And so they are here in the chat. They know everything to any question that you may have. So feel free to hit them up. And we have Alice Clark. She is a raising strong leader. She has raised her hand to help put on this event for the national virtual graduation. So big shout out to Alex being a chat helper. And last but not least, we have Mara, who is the Senior Manager of National Advocacy. Y'all, she's my boss, so make sure y'all are real nice to her, okay? All right, so she's here. Um, she does work for the National Service Office, so any questions that y'all have that um, maybe our chat helpers can't ask, Mara will definitely come in and answer those questions. So feel free to use that chat. Hit them up. Once again, make sure you change your messages in the chat functions to everyone if need be so we can see all the good stuff that's happening in the chat, okay? All right, so we now will go over the overview of what we're going to be sharing together during the next hour. And so these are, it's only fun, things that are happening. We are here to celebrate you and your nurse for all of your accomplishments over the past two years. Just think back to when you found out you were pregnant. You were probably maybe unsure, scared, disappointed. Maybe you were even ashamed when you found out you were pregnant. Or maybe you were happy, excited, and was ready to get on this parenting journey, but you still didn't know what you really were gonna do. Then a nurse came to your door, and I'm sure at some point your nurse felt like a stranger. You didn't know if you could trust this person who was asking all of these maybe invasive questions, but now you probably see your nurse as a friend and as an angel and someone who helped build your confidence more than ever. And this next hour is all about celebrating those moments that you've had over the last two and a half years. So thank you all so much for being here. Now we will have our first guest speaker coming up, Jessica Thiel. She is another one of us. She is an NFP graduate who is now a NFP parent ambassador. She graduated from Nurse Family Partnership from Ohio in June 2021. She has a bachelor's degree in fashion design and business marketing. She loves to help people learn about new things and reach their potential in her community. Um, she has been a big part of helping us here um, within Raising Strong. She helps make the craft. She keeps us active in the Facebook group. And she's just really grateful to be a part of Nurse Family Partnership. And she's excited to help families gain access and knowledge to the resources avail available for them to build the best foundation for a bright future. So Jessica, go ahead and come on video. We would love to see you, girl. Um, and please just begin to share your story. Okay, can everybody see me? <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, I apologize in advance for the terrible lighting. I'm in my car, you know, mom life, but I am so excited to be here. This is so exciting. I'm so happy to congratulate you all. I'm finishing up uh, your NFP journey and ultimately, just walking along this journey through motherhood. Um, I'm Jessica Thiel, I am from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'll just start with a little bit about my story. I had an unplanned pregnancy with an ex who lives on the other side of the country. It wasn't really an exciting time. I didn't really have much support from him or really in my family. And so at my first doctor's appointment, I was told about NFP and I was like, huh, I could use a friend to go on this journey with me, to cry with me and celebrate the happy moments with me. And I love my nurse, Larice, if she's here, shout out to you. Um, but yeah, so we went through that journey together and um, the part where NFP really helped me the most was actually after my pregnancy. I met with my nurse every couple weeks. Um, she knew my son really well. And around my son's 18 month um, doctor's appointment, 
the doctor said everything was great. He's doing great. But I had a meeting with my nurse shortly after that. And she actually knew my son from birth and knew how he was progressing so fast and then went stagnant for a long period of time. She was actually the person who initially noticed his developmental delays. And so it was because of her that we started early intervention services as early as we did, got as much information as I needed and started the whole process of getting him therapies and everything. Um, just this, my son just turned, well, he's three and a half and he just got diagnosed with, oh, oh no. I'm so sorry, my car, okay, sorry. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, but yeah, so we just got a diagnosis of autism, but because of my nurse, um, we got a huge head start on getting the services that we needed. Um, without NFP, he would not have come as far as he did so far, and he's doing so great. Um, but one of the main things I wanted to talk to you guys about is the importance of community. Because when I went through that experience, I felt so alone and so isolated and that no one could really relate to me. Um, and I know the internet could be a terrible place, but it could also be a great place. Even if you don't have a child with special needs, maybe you're going through postpartum or just feeling isolated in general as a mother or just looking for people to relate to. Um, I mean, I found moms on Instagram who have autistic children who made me feel better about my experience. And just if I was having a bad day, I could have someone to relate to. And I was like, yes someone's out there like me. And what's great for all of you is that you already have a built-in community. Through being a part of NFP, you have all of us. And you can move along on to Raising Strong, be a part of our Facebook group. You can find anyone to relate to, anyone to talk to about any of mom situations that you might come across. One of the fellow parent ambassadors, Kay, she's actually in this meeting right now, she actually has similar experiences with her child. So it's just so important to make sure that you always have a community and you always have one somewhere and you'll always have one with us. And with that, I will bid you guys farewell and good luck on the future and be a part of Raising Strong so we could talk some more. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jessica, for those encouraging words. I'm so glad that you reached out to Nurse Family Partnership and you and your son Rex had someone to watch those milestones and watch him develop. And big shout out to you, Jessica, for just reaching and being an advocate for your son um, and getting what you need for him. So if you all can relate to anyone, anything in Jessica's story, give her a shout out in the chat box. Thank you so much, Jessica. And thanks for the shout out to Raising Strong. Okay, I think it's time for some door prizes. And I told y'all Sylvia had the fun part, right? So Sylvia, go ahead and um, talk to us about some door prizes. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing your story and being so open. Yes, we have some exciting door prizes um, for I. Um, one of the graduates. Um, again, we are so happy you are here. We are happy to be here. So um, the first winner is of an Amazon Fire tablet. Um, that would be, let's see here, um, Raven Fontenot. Raven? Raven, you're, win you're the winner of an Amazon Fire tablet. So let's congratulate Raven, everyone. And um, Raven, we will get in contact with you via your RSVP information and um, help you to complete that order. Thanks, Ashley. Oh, all right, Raven, I'm jealous. You get you a Amazon Fire tablet, but she's not the only one we're giving away um, a tablet to today. We have another chance for a door prize, so y'all just stick around, okay? Good deal. Okay, well, we are going to keep the party going. The chat is live. Thank y'all so much for being here. So we will now have a Zoom poll. Okay, I want to know what our audience knows about Nurse Family Partnership. 
So I'm about to launch this poll. So hopefully you all can see it on your phone or on the device that you are enjoying. And I want to see what do you know about nurse family partnership? Okay, so I will launch it. Okay, you all should be able to see the Zoom poll on your device. Let me know. There's three questions. It should be quick and easy. The first question is, how long has Nurse Family Partnership been around? Okay. At some of these people who are getting it right, I'm sure it's the nurses. Question number two, who is the founder of Nurse Family Partnership? Okay, so for the first question, how long has Nurse Family Partnership been around? Not just your Nurse Family Partnership in your city, but Nurse Family Partnership as a whole, the program for, you know, how long has that been? Who's the founder of Nurse Family Partnership? Is it me? Oh, three people are saying it's me. I wish. <laughs> May want to change your answer though. The third question is, what is the name of the Nurse Family Partnerships National Alumni Group? Panelists, don't be cheating. Oh, I love that you all are knowing these questions. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all about 30 more seconds to get your, to get your responses in. Yeah, Alex, can't vote. Panelists can't vote. Y'all probably already know the answer. Okay, 20 more seconds. How long has Nurse Family Partnership been around? Who is the founder of Nurse Family Partnership? What is the name of the NSP National Alumni Group? 10 seconds left. Get those fingers going. Get them going. I see 123 people out of 169 is plenty of us on here. Where y'all at? All right, ending the poll in three, two, one. All right. I think I can share results. Let's see what happens. Okay, first question How long has Nurse Family Partnership been around? Drum roll. The answer is 40 plus years. You all, Nurse Family Partnership got a lot of evidence based uh, under their belt, a lot of research under their belt, and a lot of years under their belt. So just know that it has been around for over 40 years, uh, somewhere around like 1970 or so. So that's the answer to the first question. Question number two, who is the founder of NFP? That is Dr. Olds, okay? Dr. David Olds, y'all, he's still around doing great work for the program. Um, he lives there in Denver, Colorado. He's an amazing fella, fellow um, who just had a passion for babies and parents and really wanted to intervene at the earliest part of a parent's life. And that was during pregnancy and created Nurse Family Partnership and has all the research of 40 plus years and we are products of his great work and his passion. So big shout out to Dr. David Olds. The other people, Dr. Darcy Lowell is the um, founder of Child First, which is a program that works with the National Service Office. And then Charlotte Mim, Mim Harris is actually the um, interim president and chief executive officer who we're here about later on today. So the big one is what is the name of the NFP National Alumni Group? It is Raising Strong. Y'all, Raising Strong is the place to be when you graduate from um, your program in Nurse Family Partnership. So please keep that in mind about Nurse Family Partnership. All right, y'all. So we have those results. They are stored for us on the back end. For those who got all three questions correct, Sylvia and I will be doing a drawing and we'll contact the winner for a special prize. Don't you just love prizes? We do too. Okay, great. Next up for our speakers. I don't know about you all, but I'm having fun so far. Um, love hearing our first speaker, Jessica, parent ambassador. Thank you so much. I love the chat that's going on right now. Hopefully you all are seeing that and engaging. But now we have a special speaker coming up and I'm so thankful that we have them with us today. We have a nurse home visitor, 
Melissa Reardon from Austin, Texas, who is a nurse from Any Baby Can. Melissa is a rock star nurse home visitor, and she actually recommended one of her 2022 graduates to share their story. So um, we'll have their pictures come up here on the slides. And then um, without further ado, we will have Melissa hop on video. She will share a few words about her role as a nurse home visitor and introduce our 2022 graduate commencement speaker. Take it away. Hello. Hi, Hi NFP. I am Melissa Rudin from Any Baby Can, and I have been a nurse home visitor for just short of four years. And I have to say, uh, gosh, when I was um, a nurse home visitor for just over one year, and all you nurses know that you really don't get this down until you're in it for at least two years when you've got a whole cycle with some clients. Um, anyway, it was just over one year. It was a Friday, March 13th, and we shut it down. It was COVID-19. And a week after that, my supervisor gave me a referral. And I was so nervous to call this referral because I had no idea how you enroll a client on the phone uh, without meeting them. I'm very much a one-to-one -one in person kind of nurse. Um, anyway, I got my nerve up and on March 27th, I called her, her name's Bailey, and we talked for over an hour, which I had never done uh, before, but we did, we hit it off right away. I figured out a few days later how to send a virtual enrollment and she and her mom signed the consent, sent it back to me. And lo and behold, I had a new client, Bailey Trigg. And it was amazing. We have um, had a very good relationship for two and a half years now. Uh, we spent the first few visits on the telephone and then I finally ventured into Zoom uh, took a while, you know. Um, uh, it, sometimes it worked out. It's, my screen sometimes would share, sometimes it didn't, and we would laugh our way through it. Uh, but anyway, she is absolutely amazing. One of the first things I noticed about her, and is probably the biggest strength, is her commitment. Once she sets her mind on something, she's committed to it. And she was committed to Nurse Family Partnership. She absolutely shows up. Uh, in the first few months, six months actually, of our um, partnership together, she graduated from high school. She turned 18. She registered to vote. She started college classes. And she delivered the cutest little boy, Leo. Uh, and that was in September of 2020. Fast forward to summer of 2021, she and her boyfriend, Jude, well, Jude had actually a job opportunity for training in Oregon. And so the three of them packed up baby Leo and went to Oregon for the summer and she still showed up. We met, we checked in on Zoom she even uh, joined us for a mom celebration that we had, and she and Leo did yoga with us on Zoom. Uh, when they came back to Austin, it was just a couple of uh, visits later, and we finally got to meet each other in person. And I have to tell you, I, I was just, I was going to cry when I first met her. I really held back the tears. I didn't want to embarrass myself, which, you know. Uh, happens a lot when I get emotional like that. But anyway, um, she's just amazing. And it's been an honor, a great privilege to be her nurse. She's um, absolutely wonderful. And I congratulate her for um, graduating and all the graduates, congratulations. I do want to um, leave her with a quote that I found that is particularly about Bailey to me. Being a mother is learning about strengths you didn't know you had and dealing with fears you didn't know existed. 
And that's by Linda Wooten. Anyway, congratulations, Bailey. It's been no such an honor to know you. You got me crying. I know. <laughs> I Sorry. thought we, we talked that we weren't going to cry. <laughs> um, all right. Thank you, Melissa. Those words okay. were meant the world. Um, <laughs> hi, everyone. My name is Bailey. Um, as Melissa said, I just turned 20 in August, and I'm the mother of a sweet two-year-old boy named Leo. Um, I go to college in Austin uh, at ACC, and I'm studying to be a nurse. Hopefully, I get in um, in the spring, and I'm now graduate at Any Baby Can Nurse Family Partnership. Um, I'm so grateful to be in the Nurse Family Partnership program, but obviously, it makes me emotional because of how close I am with um, Melissa. I consider her a strong mentor in my life and someone that I lean on for support really heavily. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, I was 17 and in my last semester of high school, and I had only known Leo's dad, Jude, for about a month on the day that I held up my um, test. No one was answering the phone, so I had to call my mom, and I realized that I'm really fortunate to be able to call my mom in a time like this because that's not the case for a lot of people. She was really supportive, but in the midst of that, I was telling myself, I didn't want to do this. I wanted to graduate high school. I wanted to move out of my parents' house. I wanted to go to college. I wanted to get a degree, but she just held me and told me that everything was going to be okay. Uh, the next morning, I finally got a hold of Jude, and he also told me that everything was going to be okay. Um, even though I had all the support in this time, I genuinely could not see how everything was going to be okay. After getting an ultrasound for, first time, for the first time, I realized that this was actually real and happening to me. I decided I needed to tell my high school counselor in case I started to get sick or missing school or having problems like that. Um, she connected me with the teen parent program in our school district. Um, and the program had a seminar where they picked me up from school and I got to meet other teen parents and pregnant teens that were in my school district. This was the first time I really got to relate to anyone at all about what I was going through. Um, they had a booth there where I could sign up for different resources and one of them was the Nurse Family Partnership uh, with Any Baby Can. And in literally three days um, after that is when I got contacted by Any Baby Can and I met Melissa. I can't believe she remembers the day, but um, yeah, Melissa has supported me in more ways than just medically, which is what I thought it was gonna be at first. Um, she was the first person outside of my family that I told, and that was excited for me and happy for me and Jude. She helped me sign up for WIC and got me and Leo on Medicaid, got me signed up for breastfeeding classes and birthing classes and answered every crazy question I had about pregnancy because I was only 17 and I didn't know a thing. Um, as I'm sure most of you know, or all of you know, once your child is born, it almost jerks you into reality. And when Leo was born, that was the first time I truly felt like everything was gonna be okay. I had a lot of trouble breastfeeding because Leo had a lip tie. Um, so Melissa came and dropped off a care package the day of our first Zoom after Leo was born. And it had a bunch of activities like colored pencils and like ways to meditate and all this amazing stuff that I really needed. Um, but the best thing she brought was something called a nipple shield, which I did not know what that was at all. And it was the weirdest looking thing. It was like clear and it had a case in it. Um, but she really knew what would save my life that day. And it did. Um, but the best way Melissa had supported me was around this time last year, I wasn't sure if I wanted to be a nurse or a teacher or do something in social work. And I was two years into my prerequisites. So it wasn't really the time to be changing up on everything. But she was the first person to really look at me and say, like, you will be a good nurse. You, you will be a good nurse. And she was pretty much jumping through her screen saying that I could do something like she does one day because it would incorporate everything I love, which is helping people and working with kids and encouraging and advocating for young parents, just like how she does and how all of the people here do all the nurses. Um, now Jude, Leo, and I live together in a, our own apartment in South Austin. Jude and I work part-time and go to part-time college. Leo goes to full-time daycare at my college and I also work with the preschoolers there. 
So basically I've done almost all of the things I was scared I wouldn't be able to do when I found out I was pregnant. I've graduated, I've moved out, I've, go, I've started college and hopefully will graduate one day. Um, and I hope to help people and encourage young parents to lean into their resources and to not be afraid or need to ask for help. Being a parent, especially a young parent, I know that it can be easy to feel like you have nothing together while pretending like you have it all together. Just know that there are people out there, like your nurses and the people in your life, who want to support you and see you, and see you succeed. I hope all of you know that it's okay to not be okay or to not have it all together. You are loved and your babies are loved, and there are a lot more people out there rooting for you than there are not, which took me a really long time to realize. Um, just remember that as hard as it is right now, we are all gonna miss the good old days once our babies are in high school and way too cool for us. Um, and if any of you are needing a friend or somebody to talk to or another parent in general, um, I will put my information in the chat or wherever it needs to go. Um, and congratulations to all of you, Class of 2022 Nurse Family Partnership. I hope that you all stay, stay um, healthy and safe and happy. Oh my goodness, Bailey, thank you so much for sharing your story and being transparent with us. Um, it was so powerful to see how you've come from technically like a teen mom to being a college student, wanting to pursue nursing, keeping your family together. Thank you for even joining Nurse Family Partnership and your willingness to share with all of us today. Go ahead and read the chat, guys. girl, and see, and, see, and, and see all the shout outs. You Thank you, Bailey. Thank you. I'm sure all of us can relate at least with one part of her story as we think about our own parenting journey and our connection to Nurse Family Partnership. So once again, thank you, Bailey, for sharing with us and addressing your peers in this year's national virtual graduation. Okay, perfect. Let's see what we got up next. Oh, we got the door prize giveaway slide again. Sylvia, who do you have for us today? Thanks, Ashley. And um, yes, Bailey, that is so awesome. Thank you for sharing. Um, so we do have another door prize giveaway. This is um, exciting for everyone. Let me go ahead and see who we have here for an Amazon Fire tablet. Um, we have Emily Boo. Emily Boo. Oh, and she's a Spanish speaker. So tenemos otro sorteo para un graduado. Emily ha ganado un tableta de Fire, Amazon Fire. Felicidades, Emily Boo. So let's congratulate her. And Emily, um, we will contact you later with that information. Yay, thank you so much. Congratulations, Emily, on winning your Amazon Fire tablet. So happy that you and your child will enjoy that tablet on NFP. Okay, moving on to the next segment, we have a special video from Lori Berkner. Give me a shout out if you know who Lori Berkner is in the chat, let me know. She is a children's music artist and she's been making music since 1992 by creating songs that inspire and enthuse parents and children through music. She mentioned in her bio that she loves Old MacDonald Had a Farm, but could not listen to it a hundred times. So she aims to create music that she wouldn't even mind singing over and over again. But I'm trying to figure out where was Lori when the song Baby Shark came out? Because um, insert annoying emoji, right? Um, Baby Shark is one of those we be hearing it like, well, like who made that? Who did that to us parents, right? Y'all go ahead and put in the chat. What is that one children's song that stays stuck in your head because your kids just wear it all the way out? Go ahead and go ahead and put those in there, okay? So we reached out to Lori and she was more than happy to create a couple of songs specifically just for you 2022 graduates. So grab your kiddos and have them participate along. And let's listen to her message now. Hi, I'm Lori Berkner of the Lori Berkner Band, and I'm also the mother of an 18-year-old daughter. 
I write music for kids and families and I do it for many reasons. First of all, I love music and I love sharing music with children. I'm also inspired to create music that I wish I could have listened to when I was a kid and music that allows parents and children to enjoy singing together, dancing together, and connecting with each other. Before I go on, I would love to share with you one of my songs today. So I'll show you the hand motions and then I'll ask you to do them along with me. It goes like this. I've got so much to give. Start across your chest. I've got so much to give and reach out. This is the life I was born to live, and I've got so much to give. Let's try it again. I've got so much to give. I've got so much to give. This is the life I was born to live, and I've got so much to give. Now you do it without me. I've got Thanks for doing that with me. You know, you really do have so much to give. And I know you've been giving an incredible amount over these past two years, especially being part of the Nurse Family Partnership. And not only did you begin your journey as a parent, but you did it during a pandemic. And still you found your way here today. I know that for me, even without being a brand new parent, <laughs> both as an artist trying to stay connected to families and helping them stay connected to each other through music, as well as parenting my own teen, every day felt like an enormous challenge. It was hard to figure out ways to stay connected when we were told to isolate and when I, as well as many of the people around me, felt scared. And when we had no idea when or if things would actually go back to what we considered normal. But here we are today, and here you are today. It's not where we started, but you've made it through the worst part of this pandemic, the beginning of your child's life journey, and the start of parenthood. With all of its struggles, with all of the things you've learned, and all of its joy. And I am in awe of what you've been able to accomplish. So today is a very special day. I am so honored and excited to be able to celebrate each one of you for the incredible commitment that you've made for your families over these past two years. I know that as you move into the next phases of parenthood, of course, there will be more challenges to overcome. You're about to have toddlers. <laughs> and let me tell you, as a parent of a teen, <clears throat> There's even more to come after that. <laughs> but I hope you will remember just how strong you are for everything you've done to get here. When my daughter Lucy was first born, it felt like it was the most miraculous thing that I could ever experience. But what's happened in my parenting journey since then is that in every new stage of her growth and development, I find more and more miracles. And I know you'll be finding those miracles as well for the rest of your lives. I have one more song to sing with you. I'm imagining you singing it with me because it is about you and those beautiful children that you helped bring into the world. Mm -hmm. 
I am a beautiful light in this world. I am a beautiful light in this world. I am a beautiful light and I shine so brightly. A beautiful light in this world. I'll make my beautiful way. Just like you, a heart that's beating and connecting, a heart that knows what's true, a heart that laughs, a heart that lives, a heart that loves, a heart that gives. I have a beautiful heart, just like you. Congratulations, you beautiful lights. Oh, y'all, Lori Barkner is so beautiful to do those songs for us. Someone had put in the chat that this was perfect song for you NFP parents and toddlers. You are a beautiful light. Um, we will definitely be sure to send this YouTube link out when we send the recording out so y'all can listen again with your children. I love the inspiring words that she shared with us um, because we all have a light that lives in us. Okay, I know that we've talked a lot about our graduates and um, the experiences that we've had, but where would any of us be in this program if it wasn't for our nurses, right? And so this, we are going to play a little game and this is for everyone to participate in. Even if you are a family member, we will love for you to join in. Okay, so this game is called the alphabet game, except we're not gonna use ABC. We're going to be using the letters of nurse family partnership, which is right, you guessed NFP. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna call out the first letter, get your chat ready, okay? I'm gonna call out the first letter and I'm gonna say N. So you're going to type in a word or a phrase that starts with the letter N. And to make this a little bit more challenging, you have to use words that are geared towards nurse family partnership and what you know about it. Like the word nice or new, I see what people are putting in there. So obviously nurse is one too, right? So hopefully we all get the swing of it. Okay, so type in words that start with N. Let's go. All right, nurture, nurse, nurturing families, nice, nifty, newborn, need, never give up. I love that one. Nap time, new mom, nursing, never ending, no sleep, right? Let's just keep it real in the chat, right? No sleep, <laughs> new life nurse, a navigator. Oh, I love that one. New experiences, new beginnings. Okay, let's move to the next letter. F. F. What words or phrases when you think about nurse family partnership do you think of? Family, future, from the heart, friendly, foundation, flexibility. Shout out to the nurses for the flexibility. Woo -woo. Functional, friend, fun, future, facts, Fearless, facing forward. Oh, I love that. Foundational. Yes, our nurses gave us a great foundation in parenting. Feelings, fantastic. Facts, faith. Awesome. Oh, forever connected. Tanisha, you did that one, girl. Yes. Food. All right, let's go P now. What do we have? Y'all should be pros now. Let's go for the letter P. P. 
patient, passionate, proud, prospering. Oh, that's a good one. Pretty, passionate, prepared, protection. Love that. Perfectly imperfect. That is definitely us as parents, right? Personal, professional, partnership, president, picturesque, purposeful. Praise the Lord for NFP, okay? <laughs> Powerful, prosperity. Oh, I love it. I'm loving the words that you all have put in the chat. These are so inspiring to us. And thank you for the way that you view Nurse Family Partnership. I can speak for those who work at the National Service Office, as well as those who work for the NFP programs, that we appreciate those kind words and those sentiments. Thank y'all so much. Okay, so what in the world would a graduation be without giving a shout out to your nurse? You know, nurses, they're, they're so humble, y'all. They say, oh, the moms are the heroes, or um, we can just go to the next slide, Sylvia. Um, and you say the moms are the heroes and nurses say, oh, well, the moms did all the work or the parents did all the work and we're inspired by the parents. But from our perspective as graduates, we're like, um, our nurse is an angel. Our, our nurse is a lifeline and so much more. So use that chat feature and let's brag about your NFP nurse. Go ahead, give her a shout out. Sylvia's gonna come on. We're gonna do our best to read just a few um of these chats nurses if you are in here please just look through all mm. of the encouragement that you all are seeing on the chat okay Brittany wants to shout out Kristen Marcos Jose says my nurse is the best and I love her so much from Naples Florida Jasmine says, I don't know what I would do without our nurse. Thanks to Wendy. Carrie Ann. My nurse was there when I lost my grandma in March. Oh, Ebony, thank you so much for sharing. And her nurse has been there since day one. Thank you, Ebony, for sharing. Shout out to Sakina. You are amazing. From Kristen. From Chelsea King, Mary Ann forever, my best friend. Sylvia, do you want to read a few? I think you're on mute. Yes, sorry, I'm back. Um, yes, uh, so we have Angeli, Kristen, help me grow. Thank you. Um, Jasmine, uh, Marquez, shout out to um, Jasmine Marquez. And we have, I I saw one earlier, I'm trying to get to it. it was, um, let's see. There was, um, Ebony, my nurse was, okay, sorry, that wasn't it. Um, Uh, heaven, Robin and I met oh, more than a hundred times. She was always kind and compassionate and helped me through all my struggles. Um, Chantrell, shout out Nurse Kimberly for the love and support and always encourage and encouraging me from Houston, Texas. Um, Kanisha, Miss Sabrina is amazing. I love her so much, South Carolina. Um, yeah, there's a... Many. <laughs> yes, there's so many, y'all. Keep them coming in. We have the chat. Shout out to the nurses and shout out to the parents who gave birth to twins, who um, maybe had a difficult birth or a long birth and your nurse was there. I'm sure you were prone to like, where's my nurse? Where are my nurse? Shout out to all the nurses who came and supported each and every one of us NFP graduates. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, just one more from Tanisha. Anita yeah. helped me when her mom um, died by suicide and she'll be forever grateful. Tanisha, we're so sorry. We're glad you had NFP nurse with you. Yes, so thankful for, you just never know what the situations that arise in our lives and our nurses are there. They just come on in and continue to encourage us. 
So thank you so, so much. Um, I hope that you all feel showered with those gratitude messages. And now we have a quick video from Raising Strong, who is our alumni network. We created a thank you video just for the nurses. You all continue to make an impact in our lives well after we graduate. And we wanted to express our thanks and gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for making me feel strong. Thank you for everything that you did, for showing me all the different programs I could be in with my son. You're the best. Hi, nurses. Y'all make a really big impact on other people's lives, so I just want to say thank you. I would describe my nurse, Lisa, as extraordinary. She was heaven sent. Like, I cannot tell you what a difference she made in my life. Amazing, intelligent, fantastic, brilliant nurse. I say that you are an amazing human. You're an amazing nurse. And I'm so blessed to be able to have the opportunity that I had with you. And you are beyond exceptional nurses. This is what you were meant to do. During my time uh, with the Nurse Family Partnership Program, I feel I grew up. I learned a lot. Motivated me and pushed me to do more. And because of her, I am going to school and have this opportunity that I, where I am today. From Raising Strong, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done to support our parenting journey. And thank you for everything that you continue to give to first time families as they go along their own journeys. We just want you to know that we are a fan of you. Perfect. Once again, thank you so much, nurses. As we are on a roll for our nurses, we are giving out our last door prize, and you guessed it, it is for our nurses. Sylvia, who do we have? And share what the um, door prize giveaway is for the nurse. All right, Ashley. Yes, you gave me the fun job. <laughs> I mean, it's all fun, right? Um, so glad y'all are still here um, sticking out um, the event with us. So we are going to be giving out a team building activity for one nurse along with her entire team. So that's exciting. We will reach out to you um, later on, but let's see who we have as the winner here. We have um, Blanca Franco. So Blanca Franco, you, you and your team are winning a team building activity. So we will reach out to you um, to connect and how we, um, again, Raising Strong is going to sponsor a team building activity for you and your entire team. Happy to do it. Yay, woo woo, congratulations, Nurse Blanca and her team for their sponsored team building event from Raising Strong. All right, y'all, we are winding down. We have six minutes left. I know, please just stick with us. It looks like we may run about five minutes over, but I think we all in this for the long haul, right? So next we have um, our, pres our interim president and CEO, Charlotte Men Harris, who leads Nurse Family Partnership and Child First to advance the organization's mission to serve more families and achieve successful outcomes. Charlotte Men Harris has taken over as the interim president and CEO um, since the past couple of months, and she is a phenomenal leader. She's transparent and she truly loves the mission of parents and working with first time parents and their families. She is actually traveling for business today and wasn't sure she was gonna be able to hop in live. So she was gracious enough to share a few words of encouragement through a recorded video. So let's see what she has to say and be sure to stick around 
for um, the video following her words of encouragement. Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte Min Harris, the interim president and CEO of the National Service Office, which supports the work of local NFP programs all across the country. And today is such a special day. We're so excited to have the opportunity to celebrate all of you for the incredible commitment you've made to yourselves and your families over the past two years. I'm inspired every day by the stories of strength and resilience of parents like each and every one of you. You've each overcome incredible obstacles and accomplished so much. You've advocated for what's best for yourself and for your child, and you've set your families on a path to such a bright, successful future. But this is just the beginning of your journeys. I know you each will continue to thrive and do great things in your communities. Your connection with Nurse Family Partnership doesn't have to stop today. We want you all to continue your journey with NFP to be advocates for our program in your communities. Share your stories and stay connected with other NFP families by joining Raising Strong, the community for NFP families. You'll be joining a strong, inspiring community of almost 3,000 other parents who have also completed the Nurse Family Partnership Program and who desire to stay connected. Congratulations again. You look forward to, we look forward to staying in touch and hearing about the great things that you and your families will do in the future. We now have a special tribute to share with you, the class of 2022. All of us at the National Service Office and other NFP graduates are incredibly proud of you, and we want to congratulate you on your parenting journey.
everyone. Graduations, graduates. Thank you so much for those beautiful quotes and pictures of your families. You all, as parents, it's what makes the world go around. Thank you for sharing your families with us. And be sure you can catch um, the full quotes and more pictures in the yearbook. Um, there, we can put that in the chat on where you can find the yearbook page. Um, so you can continue to submit those. And um, so now we are wrapping up, you all. It's 8.03, we didn't do too bad going over. Congratulations, graduates in class of 2022. You can go to the next slide. Um, you all will be joining Raising Strong. Each and every one of you that RSVP'd, you will get a welcome email from us, um, from Raising Strong, because we would love for you to be a part of the community. You saw all the energy that we have in the chat, and there's more to come when it comes to Raising Strong. Um, and also, all of you all who are graduates and you RSVP'd, you will receive a graduation gift soon. So be on the lookout for that. Next, I cannot leave without a shout out to Advocacy. Nurse Family Partnership can't continue to serve first-time families without financial support, which a lot of it comes through public dollars. Um, next slide. So if you want a quick and easy way to make your voice heard, join the Nurse Family Partnership Action Alerts. Y'all, right now, text NFP to 50457. This allows us to send emails and calls or even tweet our legislators to let them know the importance of funding nurse family partnership so that more families can receive free nurse like we have had. All right, once again, you, um, next slide. Once again, you can keep this up. Um, the, the 2022 National Yearbook will stay up all the way through January 2023. So if you are a graduate and you haven't had a chance, be sure to look at the link that's popping up in the chat and you can add your submissions and you can join the National Yearbook. If you want to give a shout out to your nurse, this is your time and platform to do that. All right, y'all. The end has come and I want to thank families, nurses, Raising Strong members, and others that joined us today to commemorate the NFP journey. We look forward to continuing to celebrate all of the parents who are now stronger and confident because of their NFP nurse and their relationship with their nurse. As we wrap up, this is a reminder that this event was recorded and we will be sending out the links and the recordings to the videos. Also, be on the lookout for a survey. We would love to do more virtual events with you all, so we need your feedback. And if we weren't able to get to everyone's comments or questions, um, we will get those answered, and you can expect a response within the next week. First of all, I just want to give a huge shout out to my teammate, Sylvia. Thank you so much for helping me plan this event. Shout out to the National Virtual Planning Committee, which was made up of Raising Strong members. They had their input in making this event what it was today. Also, big shout out to my team, my advocacy and volunteer engagement team. Thank you all so much for your support in helping me and Sylvia, the chat helpers, parent ambassadors, and last but not least, the support of the National Service Office, who supports us to make these things happen to celebrate families. Thank you to the NFP nurses. The NFP program is nothing without you. Thank you for your dedication in building relationship with first-time parents and awakening our parenthood. May this event highlight your dedication and see what it is worth even on the hard days. And to all the NFP parents, thank you for choosing NFP to walk alongside you on your journey as a parent. We appreciate you sticking out with the program and giving nurses a chance to pour into your life and taking steps towards a better you. I have enjoyed every single minute, every single second in spending this hour with you all. And I hope that each and every one of you continue to shine your light bright for the world to see, remembering that better worlds start with you. Thank you and have a beautiful night.